Further debate. I recognize the member for Cambridge. Thank you, Speaker. Good afternoon. I wasn't planning on speaking to the debate today, but I've just been so inspired by all the speakers here today. Um, and it, it's interesting because the Keeping Ontario Open for Business Act, brought to you by the same Solicitor General, the same PC government who forced the Reopening Ontario Act on Ontarians. Uh, the Reopening Ontario Act that, Mr. Speaker, you remember I voted against, uh, the one for which I was kicked out of the PC party for, uh, but which was the, the little spark that ignited the new Blue Party of Ontario, so there's some good that came from that. The, the re you know, I'm going to compare these two bills just briefly, Speaker, because I don't have too, too much time. But the Reopening Ontario Act gave the PC government the power to maintain emergency powers without there being a state of emergency. And at the time, I said, and I still say, and I, I maintain this, that that bill is and was an unnecessary overreach on our parliamentary democracy. And Speaker, this bill, this Keeping Ontario Open for Business Act, also ironically named Bill 100, this bill takes the powers that the PC government gave themselves when they declared a state of emergency on February 11th, 2022, to deal with the protests at the Ambassador Bridge. And they are now enshrining these emergency powers into permanent law. This government is drunk with power. They have no desire to let go of their emergency powers. And it really and truly, Bill 100 is a continuation of Bill 195, the ROA, the Reopening Ontario Act. The one thing that has been missing over debate for the last, after the last afternoon, even last week, is that no one has acknowledged why this has even happened. No one's acknowledged that people have been discriminated against. People have lost jobs. And I meet these people every day, Speaker, when I'm out and about grocery shopping, people who have had to leave long-term care work and they're now working elsewhere. Students who have lost their education. And it's okay to have a different opinion. My different opinion isn't misinformation. This is how debate, this is what the good of debate is. It's they can argue one thing and I can argue something else. Everyone's arguing the same thing except for myself, to be quite honest. And we need to learn from this. We need to grow with it. People, Ontarians, have largely felt ignored by their elected representatives, municipally, provincially, federally, and it's sad. And I know all of you guys are getting emails and phone calls from those frustrated Ontarians. They are frustrated. It's been two years of this, and no one has acknowledged that the reason for the, the protests in Ottawa and at the Ambassador Bridge is because of two years of poor policy that has been rammed through by this government. Speaker, this bill, Bill 100, it's not about keeping Ontario open. It's implementing rules that intend to silence the Ontario public, to discourage individuals from engaging in the right to protest, and there were a few especially troubling schedules and pieces in this bill. So one, not entitled to a hearing. The other, if asked by a police officer to help in removing or storing the object, the person must promptly comply. There were penalties of a fine, no more than $100,000 to a max of $500,000, and imprisonment for a term of not more than one year or both for an individual. For corporations, penalties could be as high as $10 million and there was a requirement to identify. And you know, listening last week, um, Thursday, when debate was occurring, and they kept saying, the government kept saying, there's no impact on peaceful, lawful, and temporary protests, that the scope is narrow. Where are these definitions? Where is the definition for this? Who, who's defining what's peace, peaceful and lawful and temporary? Where is the scope? Just saying it doesn't make it true. So we're gonna put it into regulation then? It, it, it is unbelievable, Mr. Speaker. It is unbelievable. And you know, now we ha the police are going after and locking up uh, the member from Lanark, Frontenac, Kingston, Kingston, an elected member, because why? Because he's a political opponent? Why? And it's not about friends uh, to, to the member across. This is not about being friendly. It's about being fair. People know uh, where I stand on all these issues. Everyone knows but it's about being fair. The man is an elected representative, and he's being, he's being it's, on a, it's a witch hunt for the guy. Speaker, the Highway Traffic Act currently allows already for police officers to move vehicles or objects that are blocking the normal and reasonable movement of traffic on highways and bridges. 
And at this point, there is no reason to table or pass a bill like Bill 100. Events like the trucker convoy, which is what the PCs claim spurred this legislation, they're rare events. And if needed, then a state of emergency can be instated because that's what that legislation is there for. Making these emergency powers permanent is yet another example of the PC party's disdain for freedom of speech and their love of unnecessary government overreach and draconian powers. So, Speaker, it is clear, I hope, that you know I will not be supporting this bill, and I believe it should be taken right off of the table. Thank you, Speaker.